And, and Maz, you asked Dave Burkett this question. I think it's a very... It's a haunting question no, to me. No, it, it's a very good question because, you know, the Lions, one of their worst units is linebacker. They're in search of a franchise quarterback, and they have, thankfully, Quintez Cephas feels like he's uh, elevating his play a little bit. They haven't bit, had a linebacker since Tulloch and Levy. Yeah, I don't know if you yeah. could That's take. It. I don't know if you could take a first round wide receiver in this town anymore. Not named Jamar Chase. I mean, that was if he was on the board. Um, uh, I, I understand. You had the Heisman Trophy winner, and Philly Philly took a uh, Devontae Smith. I mean, okay, you, you had people out there the, still. The question is this, and Braylon, I want to bring you in on this here because if you look at Joe Burrow. In Cincinnati right now, oh, my God. who I find to be a fantastic court. I am on that Joe. I am, oh, Joe Burrow. I that mean, was, almost as, I'm lathering up almost as good. I hope you're talking about James. college Joe Burrow. Oh, not man. Two Joe games Burrow. into the season, Joe, Joe, Joe Burrow. Burrow is it, my friend. He's three my, interceptions this season. Here's my question, though, okay? Joe Burrow has been sacked nine times. Yep. Nine times. Count them up. Nine. Nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, in nine. two games. So when Maz asked that question, yeah. don't you think Cincinnati would like a do-over? Yeah, don't you think Cincinnati yeah. would have liked to have drafted him? I prayed Penesual? that they took him. I prayed that they would have taken him. That's tough, though. Like you, you can't pass on Joe Burrow. He's an Ohio guy. He, he had no, but I'm, 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 I'm saying year. they took Jamar Chase. Yeah, I'm saying this year. Oh, saying, okay, I'm saying this year. Saying. Don't you think because Joe Burrow's yeah. been sacked nine times in two games that they're not like so we all laughed like, at that? Oh, damn. So now they, we're trying to give Panay Sewell away. Well, so well, that, that well, we I'm had, just, I'm just yeah. saying, like it's so easy to look at the issues that you have on your own team and wish that you would have drafted Micah Parsons. Wish that you would have drafted um, uh, a quarterback. Uh, uh, insert name yeah, here. Right. Whoever. I just think one of the best I just think one of the biggest things now is the NFL is once you get your quarterback, once you get your guy, or once you get the wide receiver, you gotta get the quarterback. You gotta have a tandem. Like teams don't win Super Bowls, teams don't win games, teams don't win big moments without a tandem. Everybody has a tandem. You can look down the list. In fact, the NFL Network, when they voted their top hundred players, is voted by the players. Uh, there were three tandems in the top ten. If correct me if I'm wrong, Aaron Rodgers was in there with Devontae Adams, Travis Kelsey was in there with Patrick Mahomes, and Josh Allen was in there with almost Stephon Diggs, who was at number eleven. So you gotta have a, a, a tan. You gotta one, have a tandem. Combo. You gotta have a mean one-two combo. For years, we didn't have to worry about a one-two combo. For years in Detroit, because you had Calvin and you had Stafford. You got to have a one-two punch. So I I don't think Cincinnati is mad at the choice they made and not picking up Sewell, so, so who's playing well. We have to see what happens when De Decker comes back. But you got to have a one-two punch. I think for them, they looked at that. That was a no-brainer one-two punch. Oh, but they forgot. They didn't have a good offensive line. Yes, the, his, that's, the t that's the kicker. Yeah. The Lions had a good offensive yeah. line. Yeah. They didn't need to make it the greatest thing since sliced bread. They didn't need that anymore. They needed a playmaker. They needed a guy that could make a tackle. They needed a, a guy that could lead the team. Now they pick this guy and they put him at right tackle? What are they, they don't know what the hell they're doing. Maz, if you want to tell me that the Lions made a mistake by drafting Panay Sewell, fine. But you can't say it because of Micah Parsons. If you want to give me Justin Fields, I'll do that all day long. But you can't take the linebacker there. Why the hell not? Because... Dallas went up to 11 and got him. They went up to 11. He's had a, he's had two games so he's far. He's going to be a stud. He's going to be a stud. But will he be a stud in the long run? You know run? why they didn't take him? Because he had an issue. That's what, why they didn't take every player, him. Let, let me let me let me we let me, all got let, issues. Let me, let me correct you. I, I played college I got ball. Issues. All of us you, have issues. You want to talk all about issues, issues. man? I got issues here. All of us have issues in college coming out. It is what it is. We just find a way to get over it. It had something to do more than that. Because Penn State is a school notorious for having linebacker. A, you. I was just about to say a quality of individual of class. Someone that comes out is educated, knows the plays. They don't get in trouble. So to say somebody had issues, that's BS. That's BS. That means they passed on him for some other reason. They didn't do their homework. The Jets like passed Dallas on did. Dan Marino. Maz, every team he right smoked now, the joint. every team right now is wondering if they picked the right guy. We did. Probably. We but love our guy is great. Look, I can tell you, he could go to the Hall of Fame. I don't care. I'd rather have the Hall of Fame quarterback or a guy like Lawrence Taylor. Not saying Micah Parsons is Lawrence Whoa, Taylor. Whoa, that's high praise. I'm not saying what that. What about Anthony Munoz? All right, since you're throwing okay, him they out, they what didn't about win a championship what about with him. They went to the Super Bowl. So what? I told you, I don't want an all-pro offensive lineman. I already had a couple. I have Frank Ragdow. I wanted a playmaker, and they didn't take a playmaker. 
And I was the only one sitting on my butt that night that wasn't clapping. And everyone else was lathering up. Uh, ooh, feel it. Well, the quarterbacks, oh, man. I'm quarterbacks in Detroit have struggled. Quarterbacks in Detroit have struggled the last 15 years because we haven't provided them with offensive linemen. If you look at the history, they've struggled here. They've been beat up. They've been injured. They've been run out of town. They've had success at other places and come here and not had success or left here and not had success. We had an opportunity. We took it. Now we just have to see how things play out. I'm not mad at the pick. You're not even playing about his right position. Look, I just think the bigger question now they are. when you're talking about who is, uh, you know, who is freaking out that they picked the wrong guy, I think you just look at Joe Burrow. Sacked nine times in two games. You they should have like taken him. You think they'd like to have Panay Sewell yeah, right now? But yeah. they sucked at offensive linemen. The Lions did not. That's it. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I will agree with you on the quarterback <laughs> deal, though. Like, whenever you have a chance to draft a, a quarterback that can be in your franchise for 12 years like Stafford or be there forever like Brady was in uh, New England, you have to take that guy. So I do agree. And they've missed twice. Four quarterbacks. I mean, you heard Dave Burkett say it, and it took me a second to realize that he's right. They missed on Herbert. They missed on Tua. They missed on Matt Jones this year. They missed on Justin Fields. Like, that is something I can agree with you fully. They they blew it on that. You got to draft a franchise guy when a franchise guy is there. Now you have you Spencer have Rattler. <laughs> you got Spencer Rattler. You got <laughs> Sam Howell. And you got the... Trey Lance light guy love, for Liberty. I That's love, all you have. I love the guy from Liberty. Yeah, it's because you don't even know who he is. <laughs> you don't even know who he is. His name's Malik. Guess what? There'll be, there'll be three other Trey Lance guys popping he up for 40 years old. Virginia Tech, if yeah. I'm not mistaken. Uh, Why don't you wait for uh, uh, to his brother in Maryland? Wait another year for him? You might have to. That's where the Lions organization has screwed up royally. They have set this rebuild back a year because they're ultimately going to have to draft a quarterback. A year? They took, what's his name last year? The Keep, cornerback. What's his name? With, with, with a three pick, Akuda. We set back five years, six years. We blew the third pick in the draft. It's hard to you do. You just like Dan Campbell two look, weeks ago. Now all of a sudden we've set back six no, years. No, this isn't Dan. Look, Dan Campbell fault. didn't pick Jeff Okuda yeah, last year. You know, I mean, that, that, that third pick. We talk about the Lions getting their second round pick right or their third round pick. You gotta get your first round pick yeah. right before you even look at the second round. They what what first rounders on this team do anything anymore? I mean, you've got Panay Sewell, who we're, we think is a Hall of Famer after two friggin' games. And the crazy thing about the Detroit Lions is now that I'm thinking about it, they never seem to get the first pick right. And even with Hawkinson. Like, I want to make this clear. Hawkinson is going to be a very, very, very good tight end. Hawkinson already is a good tight end. He's going to be a, an elitist at that level. We understand that. But nobody was excited when they picked TJ with that pick at five. Nobody was, nobody was excited. I love Hawkinson. Nobody was excited at five. They don't pick the right people at five, or they don't pick people that you're typically excited about. Now, Hawkinson is going to develop into the guy that you're like, Heck yeah, Tisa, hell yeah, we got the right guy. But they never get a guy that you want, and they never get the guy they should. All right, you you can't – I'm just quickly, some first-round picks by the Detroit Lions. Uh, not named Panay Sewell. You're right. going to put me in a bad mood? Just, just say good the or bad. The worst one is a good, linebacker. Good or Davis. bad pick. Go ahead. Okay? Jeff Okuda. Bad. TJ Hawkinson. Good. Frank Ragnow. Good. Jared Davis. Oh, God. No. They pass on Dalvin Cook. Taylor by the way, Decker. I'm doing that. Okay. Mm. Lakin Tomlinson. Oh, yeah, okay. No. okay. Yeah. So what I'm telling you guys. Took a Duke what, offensive guard. What, what I'm telling you guys <laughs> is this: in your last six first round picks, you only got three of them on your team. I'm not talking about first round picks from ten years ago. I'm talking about first round picks in 2015, 2017, and 2020. 2015, 2017, and 2020. It's not good. Those are first round picks on your team that yeah. should be Pro Bowlers. And what did Those they try to do to Rags? Or at least right there, or at least floating under that level. Frank Rag yeah. now they, they draft, to do to him? He was the number one center <laughs> in, in all of college football. They draft a moving to right guard. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They don't know what they're doing. Now, I know this is a new regime. I'll give them a chance. You have to give them a chance. Yeah. And they can't – it's it's tough because Decker went down. So they had to make the move they did. But I think it's a blessing in disguise when it comes down to it. And I know Chad, our boss, is a big Taylor Decker guy. But I don't think he belongs at left tackle you think before he sucks. Penny Tool. It's like before the, Penny Sewell. It's, it's, like the, it's like the best decision the Lions have made, was a, have made has been a mistake or it's been an accident. Yeah. Hey, we got Chad in studio. We're pulling him in. Give him a mic. We're going to take a break. Come right back. Armani and Edwards. What were sports? The bottom line. 